Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Martyr and this time we are going to play a little data hunt in the world event and as you can see it's going to go against the Black Legion and against hopefully the decimator we're seeing there on the left. So the mission briefing auto dependent emergency broadcast to all available agents operation unholy incursion in progress inquisitorial asset we do not know required on designated world under direct threat by we don't know but we know it's the black legion initiate combat protocol solo objectives until noted otherwise mental purgation pending for unauthorized recipients um, recipients objectives extract data from cogitator terminals doesn't here look great around the map the mission is complete when all intel have been collected collect all data intelligence assets report several vulnerable cogitator stations in the area exact locations unknown tech priests predict moderate hostile presence all right, I s the uh, tech priests don't have to predict this. There is going to be <laughs> quite a lot of enemy activity around here. That is just clear. Let us clear them out, and then we go on. I think the so I'm okay. I was expecting that. Um, I think data hunts are an uh, as a mission type. I mean, of course are a nice in between type mission just something different not you know just kill all enemies but it is something quite new not new but something really fine and a nice thing to do in between if you you know all purchase and everything would be not that cool to do every time the same mission although if I remember the times one and a half a year ago when I started playing this game in the alpha version there were I think at the beginning just two mission types when I started playing which was really a little boring and if I remember correctly you can correct me there if you know it better of course there hasn't been any mission briefing no investigations nothing so you didn't have any how do you say that any story which a, a red line which guided you through the game so that has of course changed over the last couple of months over the last year so that is pretty damn cool i think all right, first enemies cleared out. We lost a little bit of health. But in the end, it is quite good that we didn't need to use a inoculator right here. I actually have a little hope. I'm a fan of the world events because it is always... You at least whether it really has any... Whether it really changes anything overall for the game, for the story, for the star systems with the current world event, I of course do not know. But I, it is something new and fresh for a game. I know this game is quite new. I don't even know two weeks now old around that. So it is something completely new and that is always cool. Point of entry established. Harvesting data from compromised network. Warning. Hostile units inbound. And I honestly have to hope that they keep um, keep them world events coming because so they can probably in my opinion keep the game alive and fresh. I think it could be the death of a game because what I've read I've I've personally haven't reached the end game by now. There that could get a little boring in the end and it had has been the crux to many many games out there which really didn't have any any end game um, I remember some MMOs which once you reached the max level and did a couple of instances there it was always a little boring in the end and you couldn't do anything except pushing up other characters for example so it is quite nice that they have world events here and if they keep them coming 
then that could be pretty dope in order to as I said in the beginning or but I meant to bring the story forward it is quite cool I think if it really what I didn't get by with the last world event how big the changes in the universe were I think they weren't that big so let's see how this event is actually what kind of impact is this going to have there I'm quite excited but <laughs> for me personally I hope that the world events are not coming up as fast as they currently are from my feeling they could have waited two weeks more with the world event but anyhow that is just my personal preference there and I guess everyone out there has a other kind of opinion and I can only say oh I actually thought I killed him I really like the cycling missile launcher up our back it really pumps up, up pumps us up and gives us I think a little edge over many enemies if I think if there are three champions and all three of them actually get the volley in that is quite nice and brings you on let's kill the couple of here the last couple of guys that doesn't has any impact on anything but let's just do that one thing we have the Crippling Salvo, which stuns the target for 3 seconds, that's nice. Chock applies minus 40% movement and attack speed to the target for 5 seconds, that is quite nice. Assault Gunnery, the same thing, plus 30% damage on targets closer than 10 meters. So I think that is a good combination there in skills we have available. And what has to change? I can't again tell you whether that came with the full release or with the beta release or with the last content patch in the alpha, but they have increased the Neo Core Games has actually increased the density of little bosses, not the champions we are facing right now here, but the I which I will show you in a second, the little mini. I I always call them mini bosses in. In fact, I think they are not really bosses, but the more the tougher enemies, which you see with the yellow sign there. That is quite nice as well. So let's get rid of all the assets here. I take a inoculator there. Didn't we? Where is he? I thought I've killed him. Or was, is he the... Oh, okay, he's the commander there. So we will get rid of the little Black Legion Marine here because it is pretty powerful, are these guys. Now let's get rid of him. That should get... That should be quick, yes. Quick we were. Oh, a nice auto gun. So there we can see at the end of this episode how much that increases our power rating although I have the bolt gun a little bit more powerful the explosive shell I had a little bit more powerful in memory but that is complaining on a higher level I guess did I oversee someone yes I oversaw you reload again Accessing hostile network. Data siphon protocols initiated. Warning, enemy response teams nearby. Prepare for contact. We are prepared. Let's get it to the highest level or the progress bar as high as we can. Kill the heretic. What I think is actually quite uh, funny if, you, if I compare two games, to be honest, I do not know the stats in the stats of Chaos Spawns in the tabletop games. I think they are not the toughest enemies 
or not enemies, not the toughest units in the 40k tabletop game. But if I compare Roma 40k Sanctus Reach and with Inquisitor Martyr and in Sanctus Reach the warp spawns. What I want to say in Sanctus Reach, the Chaos Spawns are actually quite powerful. You may know there has been a DLC released, um, which is called Horrors, um, Horrors of Chaos. I at least they released a DLC where with new units with a new faction, which are actually the Chaos Demons. So you fight with orcs and. By now I know with Space Wolves against Chaos Hordes. Horrors of the Rob, I think it's called, by the way. And their the Chaos Spawns are quite heavy because on the one hand they have a ton of HP, they have quite a good armor. Ah damn it! And they deal a lot of damage in close combat, which if you compare them in this game, I think they're dealing a good amount of damage well anyhow but they die so easily it feels like they're falling as fast as the rebels here fall so it's actually quite nice to compare games and i think the falling back action there is quite powerful especially if he is retreating behind him for him friendly units and is still shooting at you that is quite powerful all right those are cleared out filling up our inoculators that is necessary as well and we are at the last data thing here cogitator accessing hostile network data siphon protocols initiated warning enemy response teams nearby prepare for contact we are fully prepared for that may may i say that reload oh no i don't want to change weapons let me quickly kill him down i remember in the beginning of the game that is one thing i think is a little weird that the Black Legion actually has shields and the other K Traitor Legion guys do not. I think that is a little weird and I don't know why this design choice has been made. I guess there is a explanation, but there is something I don't completely understand. But anyhow, that's just my stupid little mind. So can I get through here and I'll try it out? Oh, let's do it like that. They are down and I guess that was the wrong one. Okay. I expected worse. Alright, then we will exit. And of course we are going to take a nice, ni nice, a nice little look at the items we have received right now. The auto gun is pretty damn exciting, I have to say. So I'm pumped to see what we receive. Alright. And here we go. I will try the grenade launcher, of course, out at one point. I know this is not bad, the grenade launcher. I actually like them because you do quite a lot of damage to pumped up rebel units that's a nice part so guys for now we are finally not finally but we are at an end here and as usual i really thank you for watching and um, if you've enjoyed this episode guys then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and well i will see you hopefully in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye